Hey coin collectors, Dan the Collecting Man here. Today I'm going to talk about something that's a bit of piece of history of Australian coins. I'm talking about the 1967 Swan Pattern Dollar Crown or formerly known as the Goose uh, coin that has was released back in 1967 and they've got a 60th anniversary from the coin review Australian coin review so not of the coin but a pretty cool thing to be collecting when it comes to Australian currency and something that is quite significant and has a pretty cool story so I'm going to go through that go through some of the different coins that have been released uh, this year and the kind of value they're already holding even though they're technically not currency these are just tokens um, they're pretty cool to own and have so I'm going to go through a little bit about this a little bit about the coin review and I've got one of the special ones that we want to have a look at that so to start off with this is the carded version that they've come up with for the Australian coin review uh, it is at a hefty price at $49 so for me personally uh, it's not a precious metal or anything else it uh, it is quite expensive at 10,000 mintage so you can still uh, potentially buy them but I still think they're a pretty cool significant piece of history as you can see that's the 60th anniversary of the Australian coin review but this design came out in 1967 so the actual design itself was part of a competition that they ran back in that era to come up with a new dollar coin because obviously we had notes at that point in time so the dollar coin didn't come into 1984 so pretty cool to own a little piece of history itself uh, like I said, it's uh, definitely a good magazine. I get these every month, the coin reviews. And as you can see, they've got the different designs there of the rollouts that they have. So I've got these two here. I've got the proof, all the gold, uh, obviously quite a bit pricey to get those ones. But the proof now is definitely making some really good value, the proof silver point of view. So going to the next one. So the next one I got is this uncirculated silver. So at a mintage of 1,500, uh, it's the same mintage that they had for the uncirculated back in 1967. So I like it how they've kept it to the same mintage. So you get this beautiful box that it comes in with, which I think is really, really nice. Uh, as you can see, you can open it up there. And they've done the design of the box pretty much the same as they did it back then, which is, I think, I love that how they've copied the way it was done back in the day. So it's got the Australian pattern crown, which is what was on the original one and you got this uh they've actually presented it really nice with this piece of paper there and then you've got here the special card so australian coin review 2024 uh, i've got 1093 of 1500 the silver uncirculated and it goes through the particulars on the back so as you can see this is over an ounce of silver uh so it is 36.1 uh it's so all up in uh, troy ounces. I think it's 1.1 1. 1 something of an ounce. So it's a bit over an ounce there. 99.9 uh, 9 silver. Like I said, uncirculated finish. And it's got a pretty decent diameter. So it is a token. Uh, it's not a coin. It's not currency. It never got voted in as currency. But let's have a look at it. The silver version. Uh, as you can see here, it's definitely in an uncirculated condition minted by the royal australian mint which i think is kind of cool because they were initially trying to get it as currency from the royal australian mint uh, and it never got up so as you can see here it's a hundred for a hundred cents not a dollar so that's kind of there with the waddles on the background so it's uh, definitely a beautiful design on the of the, i don't know which one's the obverse or reverse to be honest uh so here we've got the crown obviously the original had 1960 seven down there and this has got 2024 the crown and then you got the swan which people say it looks like a goose so it's a bit of a that's why it's called the goose dollar uh not the swan uh, patent dollar crown but as you can see there it's got a crown on there for 2024 uh with australia so i think it's pretty cool to own one of these this one here uh retailed initially at 195 dollars uh, now already on the secondary market, you're looking at 315 to $500 uh, for this one. So definitely a value add, even though it's just a token, it's a round, it's not a currency coin. Uh, it is minted by the Royal Australia Mint, which I think is definitely uh, something significant. So the original ones uh, from 1967 were actually minted by John Pinch's medalist 
in London, UK. So they weren't minted by Australia. So something pretty uh, significant with those having something minted out of London and they weren't pure silver back then. So they were only, the weight of them is quite different, which I'm surprised they didn't go with the same weight. They're 28.7 grams, the original ones, and they're 0.925 silver were the original ones that got minted back in the day. So a little bit different. Um, with the proof, uh, the current proof uh, retailed at $295, uh, minted of 750, so very low mintage. Now on eBay, you're looking at $655 to $1,750 for the current 2024 version. So looking at the original one, so that's where the value is. If you've got an uncirculated one like this one here, uh, again, the originals were minted at 1,500. You're looking at around $2,000 to have the original 1967. And for the proof, again, was only minted to 750. And you're looking at around three to 4,000, depending on your grades, PCE, GS grades that you get on those. So definitely uh, some pretty cool returns if you got one of those original ones back in the day and as i said again it was part of a competition from the australian coin review back in the day so obviously it they did the competition this was the winning design then they sent it to the government to make it as legal tender and it never got up so the government rejected it so they ended up going to the private mint to make it themselves so as we know, this is the, the coin that we ended up with, which is the Mob of Ruse that's quite famous now. So just imagine that could have been our coinage. This is now what we have with obviously uh, Queen Effigy on the obverse. And then we've got the original $1 note. This is back from 1984, which is when they did the $1 note. And obviously this is the very first $1 coin. So this came out on the 14th of May. So the original ones came out on the... 14th of February, which is Valentine's Day. That's when we changed over on our currency uh, and we changed over to the $1 on the 14th of May. So that's the design we now have and know in our currency. So it took them a while to change over from the notes to the actual coinage where obviously the Australian Coin Review thought pretty early on after 1966, uh, pretty much the next year, that there should be a coin, not a note uh, when it comes to the currency. So pretty cool i'd love to know in the comments below have you got one of these is this something you've looking to collect uh have you ever heard the story about the swan dollar or the goose dollar before so for me it was something that uh, i've been learning about obviously in the last couple of months when i got this so i ordered this back in i think it was february or march a long long time ago and it's only just got delivered now so there's obviously a long lead time uh, to get these made um, but i know now with these uh, australian coin reviews if you do subscribe to one of these, uh, I think it's in here somewhere that you they will actually send one of those coins out free of charge. So um, let's have a look. So yeah, so it's here there. If for a uh, hundred and forty nine dollars, if you get the yearly uh, access, you will also get one of these for free, part of your subscription. So something pretty cool and significant i think um while it's still available it's something worthwhile getting uh like i said i do read these uh to get a bit more education on coinage myself so i think it's pretty cool another thing to point out is there are also fakes of these being made so i'll show you up on the screen but especially on this side here uh, it's where you can tell the key differences of the fakes uh, i think one key point is the flowers within the zero is a key thing to look out for uh, another one is around the edging on the right hand side what on the right hand side being too clean and too good uh, and another one is on the actual swan itself the way the actual design pops out on the wing there so they're the things you want to look out for for the fakes for the original 1967 because obviously um, people in china realize how much money they can make from a, an easy coin like this and so there is definitely fakes out there. So make sure you look at the information that I've got on the screen there to make sure you don't get yourself a fake. So as always, give us a good thumbs up if you enjoy the content. If you're not yet subscribed to Dan the Collecting Man, make sure you get that subscribe button. We've got a lot of cool content coming up. I will be going to the Royal Australia Mint soon and I'm making some videos on the Perth Mint, which I just did in the last week. So I've got a lot of cool content 
coming up in coin collecting and we've also got a very special new colored two dollar coin coming out with australian war animals so i think that's going to be pretty cool and that's going to be definitely very collectible coming up in the next couple of weeks as always thanks so much for watching and joining the coin collecting community i'll catch you in my next video dan